<laughs> All right, guys, let's go. Do you think that security remains constant through a relationship or is it something you need to keep working on? Do you think that security? Mm. Insecurity. No security. Security. But being secure in something. Yeah, it's something you need to keep on working on. Do you think that security is constant through a relationship? I think for you for you to be secure, it has to be both parties, first of all, have, have to be involved. Okay. Your partner needs to stop doing things that make you feel insecure. They need to be intentional about it. They need to help you work on it. Say that again, sorry. I think I missed you. Your partner you. needs to help you work through your insecurities. Oh, okay. If you're insecure okay. about something okay. in the relationship. I like that. Yes, not to make it worse. If, 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 for example, you know that now I don't like Russians. Like, I should not see you tweeting against Ukraine. <laughs> You support Ukraine, you know, <laughs> and you support my the enemies West. are my enemies. Yeah, you support the West. <laughs> yeah, you say hooray, hooray, capitalism. Mambo <laughs> communism, <laughs> Hooray, hooray, capitalism. So, like, 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 don't push the trigger points. Yeah, you know, uh, at Let's least right don't push the trigger points. So, it's supposed to be a two-way. It's supposed to be something you you both. You, that's done by both people. But now your partner also can't be stuck in the insecurities. They also have to work definitely to work on them. Like you yeah. can't have an issue with the Russians forever. It was just mm. Dimitri. Correct. And it probably wasn't even Dimitri who was a problem. Maybe that that's actually your, that's your actually a, a, a yeah. nickname. Yeah, I know. Mm. But maybe it is the your girlfriend at that time who actually had the problem because maybe Dimitri was receiving mm. a different message. Yeah. Mm. And then now all of a sudden it's Russians. We never want to see you again. Yeah. Day. Yeah. But you also have to be intentional to work on your security, yeah. your insecurities. Can you imagine? Mm. What did she do once seeing the Russians? Why did she turn to the East? Yeah. She, has she read, read, read about Germany? I, 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 mean, I can read it again. Uh-huh. Ahead, <laughs> Number 13. Uh-huh. Do you think that security remains constant to relationship? Or is it something you think? <laughs> you know, I, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think to myself in my relationships, mm. um, and particularly like this one because it's something we're working on. Mm. Is a, I don't I don't think we began our relationship with security. Mm. I think we are establishing it as we go. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. So for security, but regarding insecurity, mm. I echo Ben's words: is mm. that I shouldn't be comfortable with my partner being okay with their insecurity. Mm-hmm. I need to highlight in love mm. what their insecurity is and mm. help them out of it. Right. Not mm. just glorify. Oh no, I'm insecure about this. But I'm not helping you. Yeah. But I think regarding um, security. security, I think I think it's something you keep building. Yeah. I don't think it's constant. Mm. No. Because yeah. my insecurities keep morphing based on the level of life I'm coming into. Yeah. yeah. So like at this level, maybe my insecurity is that. Mm. Um, I don't know. For example, my insecurity, maybe in our marriage, my insecurity would be. Oh, God. I don't <laughs> know. Like when we were dating, I think my insecurity would have been. The girls who jump on Moji and take pictures mm. with him. It's the funniest thing when all the time. When he's performing. No, when he's off stage. Mm. And they're fans. Yeah, like That's he's just really in Moji. town having Exactly. Like we're just walking. Moji, Aki Wewe. And I'm like, Aki Wewe Nini. And so <laughs> it, that could have been my insecurity then. But when now when we're married, mm. that's not the story anymore. Oh, okay. So I think mm. it keeps on changing. Changing, changing. Yeah. So I think you work Morphing. on it. Yeah, morphing is the yeah. word. Yeah. Oh. Morphing. Yo, this is Thank a podcast, you, guys. Don't stop using <laughs> using cheap words. <laughs> yeah. Basic lingo. Yeah, I think you I think you work on it. And I think basically like for us who are you know we like we're very you work in a very we meet a lot of people. You know, mm-hmm. I think it's different different careers and but I think with our career part, mm. I think we keep on working on the things that you, I think people do in your own marriages like you know telling people where you are like this mm. art. Mm. You keep on I think you keep on working on it and you keep on also realizing what would make your partner insecure. And what makes them feel secure, mm-hmm. and what you you are what you got you are consistent in what makes them secure. Yeah, yeah. right. You're consistent in okay. This I know this makes my, I feel secure, and you you're consistent in that. Like, yeah. do I call her certain times? Do I check in on certain times? Do I do that mm. so that she feels like that is happening? Or, yeah. or I feel that. And then what they are insecure in again? You on a measure? On a, is this an insecurity that she needs to work on? And am I Am I? Is this an insecurity that I feel like? If it's a constant thing that I do, then I'm feeling secure. Then mm. I know how to start Shoot, yeah. uh, killing that. And mm. that so you, I think it's a, it's a two way kind of thing mm. where you, someone has to silence certain things, and someone has to this other side. You have to also silence and kill certain things that mm. can arouse certain feelings. Yeah. 
It's our life coach. You want to do an African tour? You want to do an African tour? Can plan that. Are you studying English? You want to be a TCV band? I want to be a care. You don't have beard care. You should. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Marriage is all you. about formalizing that commitment. When you formalized the commitment, did signing the document, the pronunciation or by the priest officiating minister do away with any fear, doubt and insecurity you had? Any doubt, fear or insecurity? So literally like on the wedding day did the doubts, fears and the whatever insecurity you had disappear? Mm-hmm. I don't think for me it did. Mm-hmm. For me it, it did. What insecurities? I'm curious actually. Really what was your biggest insecurity getting into married? I think financial. Mm. And that wasn't sealed when Ben wore his ring that he wears every day. He thought nimekuja kumaliza na poverty. Yeah, I said that. Really believe nimekuja kumaliza na poverty. No, it wasn't even for you. Forget 3 meals a day. It wasn't even from you, Ben. Mm. It was also it's the unit. also for me because mm. I had lived home for so long. Yeah. So for the first time I was on mm. my own. Yeah. Not Gonna on my own but like I was away from my Parents, mm, yeah you. so it wasn't just for you mm. it was like for the first time i'm really really just dependent on Stima ni mimi. My, exactly <laughs> <Red> <laughs> ni mimi. so it's, it's not just on you and yeah. i don't think getting i don't think my wedding day made mm. all those things disappear <clears throat> okay yeah. mm. Doubt and insecurity became louder on that day because now I had a label to our relationship. What oh. insecurity? Now as a wife, oh. mm. my biggest insecurity is: Do Let I know what you. being a wife is? If there's something the world will tell you, is how to be a wife. Yeah, mm. and then you realize all oh, that is rubbish, because unfortunately, Rose eyes. yeah, because sometimes the definitions of a wife, in people's opinion, mm. is very contrary to what I've seen in marriage. I think okay. I've come to see that the definition of a wife is actually my partner's person. Okay. Thank Anything you. else changes from that fact, then I think it's a lie. So what what, what do people f- what, what are this people telling you? Glorified way, this glorified homemaker mm. who is Thank very you. idealistic mm-hmm. and, and don't get it wrong, I think mm. a woman's place can be the kitchen, mm. but it's not the only place she should be. Mm. And I've seen that so many times is that sometimes Moji and I will have takeout mm. and like you'd get some side and people like, "Oh, picky." And mm. I'm like that's so not who is this as asking you this other people or more other people my my husband is a good man could care less I'm yeah mo- as long as he has food <laughs> that's it and that's what I'm saying but other people the are definition like... of a wife is subject to my spouse is that if I'm fulfilling my my wifely duties in his eyes the right way mm. then I think that's what we should stop giving people pressure about and so for mm. me the biggest insecurity I had walking down that aisle is will I be will I match up to the expectations why is mm. are given no you can so imagine me, you mm-hmm. you your homely Imagine me. <laughs> Imagine me. <laughs> yeah, people are always surprised when she does Imagine, stuff. No, yeah, like buying stuff homely. from the market. Even though you feel like you're not. <laughs> yeah. Like you're naturally homely. Like mm. it comes, those things come naturally to you. For me. Yeah. Mm. It's very interesting. <laughs> That's not, and you know it's unfortunate mm. because in my opinion, I perceive Shiro differently. You mm. see, people don't always, they only see the podcast. You know, mm. they see Shiro at Maua. They see her mm. on her platform. But they don't see her in the house when mm. Shiro is going to the market to buy fruits. They wouldn't yeah. identify yeah. that. Or at the altar. <laughs> or at the altar <laughs> being a wife. Yeah. yeah. And so I'm just saying is that I think for everybody who's watching us, is yeah. that it's a good place to tell you that let's minimize voicing expectations mm. you think wives should have. Mm. and allow wives to be themselves to their partners. Yeah. yeah. Cuz I think if I'm not doing well to my spouse, then mm. I'm not a wife. Oh wow. That's yeah. an interesting take. Yeah. I think the, And I said it. When it you said a woman's <coughs> place is in the kitchen, mm-hmm. I wanted to say even for a man sometimes. Even for a man can exactly. be in the kitchen. And it doesn't only it's not that you're only there. Mm. Like who's going to change the light bulb book? Mm. <laughs> yeah, but also mm. cook sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going up the stairs. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Everybody is a great place to also just throw it out because Shiro is my girl. Is that I think many guys I've seen the bashing that they give sometimes to Shiro on yeah. this platform. Yeah. And it aches me greatly because sometimes <laughs> I really wish guys could understand that it's her reflection of her thinking is the reason Ben you chose her. It's not because she was good at washing clothes. 
that's not a wife. Yeah. Or unhanging clothes. Or unhanging. Or the lack of unhanging clothes. It's that I think I think extending <gasps> kindness is saying that if Shiro is good for Ben, then let Ben have the story. Don't mm. let yourself find yourself throwing shit at somebody mm. because focus on you. Yeah, I, I think sometimes it's really painful to read them sometimes. Yeah, yeah I know. It, it, it's crazy. Did I have any insecurities even after I, the wedding was formalized? Um, definitely. Whether I'll wear my ring every day. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Whether I'll ever lose my ring. My, my biggest issue was generally on, on provision. I know I've said this a lot of times, yeah. but that, that, that pressure is real, you know? You don't know if you're going to be able to pay. In fact, at that time, I paid rent for six months. I was like, you know, for that, you need to quit broke. <laughs> but let's not <laughs> but for the next six months, I'm not thinking about uh, rent and all that. And and I think, I think, I think these insecurities just get louder. So you have to find a way to manage them. Yeah. And to also manage yourself and to become self-aware and to walk into new seasons with confidence. Mm. Mm. Moje? The question was? What insecurities <laughs> did your... Did, the marriage for Matizing. After May first. You are away with <laughs> your fear, doubt, and security. Would you have time yourself reflection? You got twenty twenty. I need a new song next week, but one honeymoon is to be. We had an EP dropping that week. <laughs> I'm right. traveling over here for a tour. Reflect, but, uh, I think the security is first of all was silence is that for me I think it's the mostly our background issues. Mm. Where was I ever gonna get married? Was I ever gonna actually you know, do it right by by my wife and you know all those things? Because you know. I try to keep it real, sana sana, because sometimes I think, and that's the issue with even this marriage advice and all these things, is that you see, like the commercialization of breakfast is the most important meal mm. in the morning. You, you, you found out that was a lie. It was actually a silver company that came up with that mm. slogan to make people eat breakfast in the morning. I think when it comes to marriage, kuna commercialized notions and whatever yeah. about mm. marriage. But sometimes <coughs> there are different things are unique to like yourself so yeah like unapata, sometimes i'm not insecure about maybe how my wife behaves but maybe i'm insecure uh based on the perception of marriage i had from where i'm from mm. about the perceptions i've had about was you know was people, eh, you know <laughs> i'm a malume talker do actually people get like ah, me, me, in my i'm like the first cousin in my in my social side mm. and the first cousin from my dad's side i think of my cousins to get married Marriage. like to do formally something. Yeah. Oh wow. Mm. So you're like, hey, insecurities are. Then you still silence till you see I've done it. You know, yeah. I've gone and I've broken the chain. Actually, take and for people who know the marriage process, sometimes it's not even. Sometimes your issues that really like, you know, stressing your time. Sometimes the issues are family mm. or whatever, and all these things. So for me, that was the insecurity of am I married? Yes. And then now for me, the other one was Sasa. Like Nash was like, how am I gonna balance everything? Because how people know me, my mind is structured a bit different on yeah. how mm. I manage my life. But Sasa Nyash is like, mm. Mm. so I think, yeah. So, but moving on into marriage now, kuna so many insecurities that were settled. Yeah. Wow. That's beautiful. That's a good one. Yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. Um, mm. Our biggest insecurity is if you've not subscribed. So In previous episodes this heal. season, Ben, ha- sorry. I've finished. Oh. Ben has talked ab- a lot about how upbringing affects current state life choices of a person. Mm. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much grace have you accorded your partner when dealing with their possible insecurities? Mm. I guess this is based on where they've come from mm. and how it affects who they mm-hmm. are. If the answer is not a 10, what do you think is stopping you from according them a 10 on the grace scale? Repeat that question, please. So, where you you said in a previous episode that mm. where you come really affects... Where you come from. Yeah, where mm. you come from mm. really affects who you are as a person. So, what kind of grace have we extended each other? Mm. I think I get it. Mm. Can I answer? Please. Um, you can Moji, answer. Mm. With Moji, um, his upbringing and mine are very different. Mm. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how have I accorded grace? I think I'd say 4. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Eh? Because the, the next question says, um, what has stopped you? Stop you? you mind mm. also telling us how their bringing is different? It's different. It's because like Moji is very, um, he and I are like, uh, we are very, uh, we are, <laughs> <laughs> they are like, oh, like, it's not night and day really, but there are some things that are really extreme. Okay. Mm. Okay. So, I think for me, why I say for in according grace is that sometimes I don't understand it as true. Like I'd be like, what the heck? Mm. I, how dare you? How, 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 how can't you see this, this way? How, yeah. could this? how can this be your reality? Until now you start, and that's the beauty of interaction with people's families, that you actually start to see, yeah, 
But then this is actually what he was saying. Mm. And so for me, that's why I think four, because I wouldn't say five because I'm very far. Mm. Is, and I think we're very fine in our marriage journey, mm. is that, well, what a year now, mm. is that is to think like in the next 20 years, the things I'll accord grace to. Yeah. But my hope is that he'd accord um, <coughs> tolerance also to try and come on this side and also meet yeah. me somewhere. Mm. Yeah, so I understand the challenge, but I also understand the... Um, it's hard for me also sometimes to be like, oh, I get that. Mm. I, I sometimes I don't come, get that. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. It's, it's, I think for me, one insecurity, and maybe it's it's so petty, but it irritates me all the time. Mm-hmm. Ben has grown up in, he says this all the time, he's grown up in a hood environment. Yeah. So That's his nice natural <laughs> his natural thing is to always, he's always defensive and he's always so protective. All right. So for me, on the other side, I've grown up very guarded, yes, mm. but like, at home, it was like a solo compound, like we were just in one compound. Yes. So one thing that has irritated me is like <laughs> Ben cannot, when it gets dark like this, the curtains have to be closed. Okay. And now one of the reasons why I got this house <laughs> was for the view. So me, I want to see the lights on all the oh, time. Okay. I want to sleep with the doors open. The window curtains. Oh. You want to feel like you're camping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. High key. I feel that because I don't feel like anyone is watching me. Mm. Based on, and it's as I said, it's so petty. But I That's think it's because petty. Ben has. He and that is now who Ben is. Ben is naturally so protective of me, About and I've, yeah. And then mm. he's just to a, to some point it gets irritating. Yeah, but if you just try to study him, you realize like it's just where he's come from. So he's naturally very, yep. very protective of you, and so I've learned to allow you to just. I've allowed you. I'm not TV, baby. And it's, it's from an insecurity point of like Ben just doesn't want to either lose you as yeah. a person or like something happens Protect to you. Protect you. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't want to That's lose you. I'm sure you be one by the way. Like you growing up, have you ever lived in a place where I'm sure you be one? I think, I no. I think the first time my mom bought a three CD change, and you know three CD changes were a big thing back then. No kids do not understand this story. CD1. Yeah, we had a three CD <laughs> changer. <laughs> it had like two big speakers, and it had a subwoofer. And I was like, this, this is life now, you know. Yeah. Then to Kenya we go, to Kapata Imeishi, I'm as and and uh, apparently the the guy who opened who opened the door even had time to put shoes out there <laughs> just to create the impression that there are actually a lot of people in the house. Uh-huh. And it was yeah. madness. Yeah. And to close the curtains, I have to actually, check these locks twice yeah. before yeah. I sleep. And to close the curtains, actually, <laughs> it was so that people don't know, don't what, know what you are exactly. going uh, or what you have. What yes, you have. because when they know, they will come for They're it. Target. I, it, 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 my upbringing is very different from 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 shiro from shiro you know uh, my, my folks are a bit strict on like small details. Um, yeah. you know, plan things like this, leave the house neat like mm-hmm. this. And mm-hmm. Shiro, on the other hand, that's not her biggest strong point. She will just sometimes just leave things like that, and mm-hmm. sometimes it really gets it really gets to me. You know, it's such a small <laughs> thing, but it, but it pisses me off so bad. I have to intentionally work on myself. Nijambia. To grow up too different. Maybe I'll a help in the house to do all that stuff. As we were thought, we were taught, you, do it. Yeah, you do it for yourself, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You gotta stay ready. I think even if you appear, it's not Yeah, because that's yeah, she's not like at 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 schedule. I say me, I'll do it later next week. Me, me, you all say we when you na jetu kirudi. If we actually, no, just see when you talk about grow up, me, we look on me na rudi home, me na patana na hanti ako ko bara. To TV most ye, to TV to you say. So at any one time, the house had to be. Ata ka kuna dirty dishes ziko somewhere ko corner, cause mm. somebody would walk in and, and and stuff like that. So a bringing is very different. Mm. Yeah. And sometimes again, when you nyasha msema, it's you have to accord each other grace, but to also be aware that we don't just grow evil. So yeah. It's like. Like Let me have prep it. them, yeah? yeah. Like, come, Mimi, I'm good at prepping. Yeah, telling you, so, um, we're gonna <coughs> come to another mile. This is what you're gonna expect because mm. this is not your, this has not been your environment. Natural environment. So, when I'm going where now, like, like you go, home. like, visit like family or like different relatives, visit, yeah. Oh, friends. yeah, you understand? like, yeah. you have to prep them. It's like the same way, and, I, and I'm sure it has happened mm. with you and, and Shiro. Where if you go to Shago, if you're going to, to Kamune, 
Mm. You have to tell Shiro, Shiro, by the way, this is gonna happen. These people are gonna expect you. Yeah. Mm. To, to, this is this is an expectation. So mm. just to tell you when it happens, usikuwe shocked. Ama this is how maybe you should behave. Like I'm in the nyash, nyash. By the way, maltrena leo uta salimiana, uta smile leo. Mm. You know, and uh, you can't go there and sit that. in a corner. It's gonna be very offensive. Yeah. To, to certain people, and they won't understand. That's not what I'm So mm. it's, it's, it's just prepping your person and telling them. By the way, this is your expectation. Yeah. Because if you don't do that, then it's gonna be later on. It's gonna be like, hey a man, why did you behave like this? Why did you nini nini? Mm. You know that. Uh-uh. You prep your partner. You tell them, you niage. Where I'm from, this is how certain things are taken. Yeah. Or where I'm from, this is how behavior is. This is how you expected to behave. So that the person is aware that mm. it's gonna yeah. happen. Yeah. But also again, behavior. Tell me, yangu kwa nyumba and whatever. Mi urudi akila time. Mi mali. I think that I'm a choker. Yo, me is juicy for. Because mm. nyasha, nyasha na juicy. If you do things like funny, certain way, people have to, you know, at dinner, people should do a certain thing. At, <laughs> at breakfast, mm. people should do, you know. Wow, this is question number eleven. Hope you guys are having fun, and as you reflect on the depth of these answers, <laughs> do you think overconfidence, uh, cockiness, is an equally damaging trait to that of a doubting self? That again? Do you think overconfidence, stroke hubris? Habris. <laughs> we don't use that one yeah. in our yeah. conversation. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, man. We don't buy according to your questions like King George. Do you think overconfidence <laughs> or stroke cockiness is an equally damaging trait to that of doubting oneself? What would you rather have, cockiness or doubt? Oh, do you think like overconfidence is similar to is worse off? Yeah, do you think overconfidence damages people who doubt? Like people who really doubt themselves. Do you think overconfidence crushes them? Nyawera, please. No, please tell us you are a book reader. What? Oh, <laughs> yeah. He's so confident in his reading of a half a page. <laughs> <laughs> I've been reading, but you guys need to start the reading culture like do in 2023. Do you think overconfidence is an equally damaging trait to that of doubting oneself? So are they on the same spectrum? Yes. On one side you're overly confident oh. and then on this other side you're overly doubtful so and do you think they're the same yeah in my opinion i think they are yeah mm-hmm. which one would you rather have cockiness or doubt what cockiness or doubt <laughs> <laughs> that's a tricky word i think you should have doubt and then silence it Cockiness is worse. I think you'd rather have doubt <laughs> and know how to silence it mm. than be overconfident. Yeah. Mm. Because when you're overconfident, mm. I think in your overconfidence, you overlook you people who are overconfident, I think they, they tend to overlook certain things, feelings and whatever. So they circle back a lot to to mm. they circle back a lot mm. to fix things that they damaged in their overconfidence. Oh. Other okay. than you you doubt a certain situation and then you deal with the doubt. Mm. You understand? Like you just say I want to say something and then you doubt it and then you think about it more or you ask mm. somebody about it and then when you share it you have mm. then come in and then unaingia kama umebulldoze umefanya nini and then later on unakuja ku realize wait Crap. a minute you you have those guys who are overconfident and then you tell them something they're like guy I didn't I didn't think of that guy mm. I didn't see that guy I didn't think it would yeah mm. I think I believe in moderation I think you need mm. to be moderate in everything but this question is asking just for two yeah there are no hapa katikati would you rather be Uh, overconfident or full of doubt? I rather have doubt. What do you guys think? You'd rather have, have doubt. doubt. Okay, yeah. what about you? Yeah, but overconfidence gets you to places, but it doesn't keep you there. Okay, but doubt also closes those doors because you don't even yeah. get there. This is not a very I mean, doubt is a hard question. Doubt makes you take longer. Mm. Unless you answer. get doubt and do it like with more like with saying and then you learn whisper, how to whisper. silence it. Mm. I think overconfidence is the best because it will people really believe people who are overconfident. For some weird reason people just tend to think they're right, smart, yet <laughs> it's, yet it's just sometimes it's a hoax. And I've seen the way people maneuver in this city especially. Somebody just co- overconfident about what they do. Oh, we manage crisis and <laughs> we help you structure your organization, you know. <laughs> just know nothing. They are kuna kitu wanakuja ku do, you know. That's not Torah. Like, when you hear them speak, you know. <laughs> when you hear them when you hear them speak, you're like, "Hey, this guy must be intelligent you know nah. how many execution they're just doing the bare minimum but the way they speak in boardrooms is is something people start saying probably the issue with overconfidence is that people start saying you, a person walks in and then guys are like ah oh, this guy has been yeah. you understand like there's a cockiness kind of so annoying yeah. guy again. so you're like people tolerate you but mm. they can like kidogo kidogo even but overconfidence of course people have been overconfident and done crazy things in this city kuna mtu ndio no joke around say uzia mtu Street, ile ile wall clock ile clock inakuwa town mm. ile hapa ni 
Na huyu mpaka kuja the next day na makamba na pick up na kuchukua. Joan of confident guy alimuzi. I would rather be of a confident than than doubt the doubtful. All right. Question number 5. Insecurity goes beyond infidelity. With this in mind, do you think you address all your partners possible insecurities? Insecurity goes beyond infidelity. With this in mind, mm. do you think you address all your partners possible insecurities? Do you think you address all of them, Ben? Not all of them, but a couple of them. I know one of the biggest insecurities on Zero has is if she's um, a good wife enough, like if she's a homemaker. Mm-hmm. So just you know randomly you see me like when I when I got the mirror you're such a homemaker. Why <laughs> randomly you call? You're Hello so homemaker, well. you're happy. <laughs> you're doing so well. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I you know she struggles with that so sometimes I try and address that or just to improve it, you know. Yeah. Even when sometimes I'm not sure about the design that's being done. <laughs> yeah. I'm like trust homemaker, homemaker says <laughs> homemaker said this table needs to be on top of the bed. Homemaker is right. <laughs> Um, I think I also am not a hundred percent, but at least I'm now starting to notice those insecurities, like of the security thing, like the way Ben can be overly protective. I'm now allowing him to just be, just be. Mm. Do you know there's a day, there's a day. and I don't know if it's an insecurity. I don't know, but it, for me, it comes out as one or a paranoia of sorts. Mm-hmm. Ben had a shopping. Did he tell you? You told me the appendix and went straight to the yeah, ICU. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was driving so fast because he thought his appendix had burst. No, I had a pain on my <laughs> abdomen for two weeks straight. You know, the two doctors weeks. told him it was a muscle cramp because of exercise. <laughs> No, I mean it's better. You're better safe than sorry. I just googled and I saw the way people like, have been dying we because, of, don't don't Google. Google. because of don't Google. because of the appendix we rupturing. You know, we were like, a family <laughs> thing. Ben left and he was like, and he told the doctor, you, 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 you have you to check if my appendix is on the right side. You, you need to give you need to give the right <laughs> context because you're you one of the people who who was there was like, oh, I've had the same problem and for me it was not good. I was about to die. Alpha can be avenue. It was such a serious thing. The pain was too much. The pain was actually sad. And I was like, "Hey, this is exactly you, what, what this now. is exactly I'm what I'm feeling." But and Dad had told you it's a muscle cramp. No, Dad had not told me. That. I, I, mean, I had, had I had not talked to him. No, we, that. we had talked to him, and he. I don't trust you guys. Cramp. I don't trust <laughs> you guys. I trust the person who at least has had the problem. So I think I'm letting Ben like just have his moments. <sighs> yeah, it's a weird thing. Do I think I address all of Moji's insecurities? Yeah, if you know them. Um, I don't think so. I don't think I address all of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the ones he exposes. And that's on purr. Yeah, because there's some there's some that I know are there, but unless he shares them, hey, you could setting you, a bad fire. You don't want to open that kind of ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I only address yeah, I address at his level. Have you shown me? I shall handle. Have you not? Then when you're ready. Wow. That's a good one. Quite toxic if you ask me. No, it's not. No. Yeah. If you show me what you're going through, it so means you want to them. Maybe he also doesn't know. That addressing. Is. I think the issue is addressing. Yeah. Right? Hey, but Ben, that can open a kind of worms that you're not ready for. What? If you don't know it's an insecurity mm. and like Andrew comes and tells you you're insecure about this, that's not a very You don't tell them. Or even even you're not ready to do you're not ready to go down that road. Yeah. <sighs> well. Yeah. Well. <laughs> well. Emoji. <laughs> well. <laughs> addressing, I think uh Do I address all of them? No, no, I guess all of them. Yeah. Do I deal? Do I try to deal with all of them? I think yeah, you deal. With, you mm. Try to deal with them, but not try to address all of them. Okay, yeah. like the low budget mm. therapist you are, eh? Huh? <laughs> Life coach. Yeah. <laughs> Those two actually, that's actually a very good distinction. Yeah. Seeing them is not the same as working on them. Yes, working yeah. on them. What do you like again? You need to. I think kill a time to go to to. Sometimes you just deal with it. Sometimes you just deal with it. Just deal with like ah, uh-uh, I think. You need to read your partner, I think, mm. and 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 see how they behave in certain mm. situations and see what makes them uncomfortable. Mm. Some of them you just stop. You're like, okay, I mentioned that or I dealt with this or I behaved a certain way in a certain space, and I didn't think I didn't think like I didn't feel like she was comfortable. Mm. Yes, but do you need to address some of them? Yes, there's some you need to address on your end what you're insecure about. Kwanza Mimi, I think that's something I've I've had to learn a lot mm. to address when I'm insecure. Mm. Yeah, that being a very uh, what do you call a very naive diplomatic pa- eh, naive so, 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 so
So I think you don't some of them you don't address, some of them you deal with. Yeah. 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 Okay. Next question, Yarira. All righty. Shugi. What is one thing? Tukijibu tunaeka wapi? What's the one thing your partner says about themselves when it comes to doubt that you wish they just stopped? How have you helped your partner deal with doubt? Shiro. What's the one thing your partner says about themselves when it comes to doubt that you wish they just stopped? And how have you helped your partner deal with doubt? Can I see it? Can you? Yeah, can I? It's the cycle. Ah, it's you, the you children you podcast. <laughs> no, 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 no. I do care. Sense. I do care. Okay, I'm starting to establish boundaries. Uh, in this journey oh, of self-aware. I think ben sometimes struggles with baldness. <laughs> and so he doesn't feel <laughs> he doesn't feel so handsome <laughs> sometimes. That's so true. Like, ha- you said it one thousand times. Like you're finding it hard to like connect. Like he wish he had hair. Yeah. Okay. No, he, he was hair. like, no, not I wish he had hair. No, you wish he him. wishes he had hair. And I'm like, I think you look very, very handsome. But like if you got hair, then we would have a debate. Because I <laughs> wouldn't want you to have True, hair. you went to Turkey this, earlier this year. Right? <laughs> I think you did act to go with Ben. Again. Yeah, Actually, I, I, think, I, think, I, think, I don't think you should have hair. I, think, I, I really, know. I can't remember you here. Yeah, you're so. It's such know. a different look for you. I don't know if I want people to know that insecurity of me. Okay. <laughs> I think you should take care of the insecurity. <laughs> I don't have one then. Okay, you go. No, I just wanted to share stories. Then about hair. Yeah. Okay. There's a time Ben and Tricycles decided <laughs> that one of their branding, in their branding uh, journey, <laughs> that was a Karanga Nyuel. Can you tell me? Yeah, Ben. Karanga Nyuel. Yeah. Alas. Can you tell me? Yeah. Orange Nyuel. Myself, Kags. Nyuel. And Dami. Hey. 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 Let me just tell you. Moji used to call it. Moji used to call us. Uh, Moji said we look like Mosono. Do you know what Mosono is? <laughs> you know those chickens that have feathers all over, <laughs> but their neck doesn't have any form of feathers. You know. You know those chickens. It's called bed Mosono. They're called Mosono. I didn't get it. What's this? So bed is look like a Mosono, but it was like, well, I understand Ben. It was me. Me actually coming to Moji. How I knew I was bad. <laughs> Me, my first mind came very early. Mm. So I used to wake up every other time. <laughs> I used to go to the, this barber shop in Utah. And this time, I used to, I was calling Joro. Me, my dad used to cause. Mm. Joro, hey. Joro, na songesha nyo leangu. You know? Nini, oh, yeah. in fact, mbaka ni kahama huko kwa Joro, ni kenda kwa wasi wengine hapo hivyo. I'm <laughs> telling you, you know, you're moving like... the, the cat ngani sana. <laughs> you know, you know, I think I can eat up on your kind of question. Come with you, my dad, bro. Me, 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 me. Yeah. It's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Every other time in a song it's really how I have to quit up when you excuse me. Come, come, get up and here's the game plan. What I'm going to make it now to come in my in my in my career. I have dealt with so many people like you who want baldi in happen my pema. This is what you do. Nyewa kipara kabla kabla people start knowing. You know, most times people hold on to their hair. To the hair, yeah. Yeah, and then people start noticing. Huh? What is <laughs> happening here? Yeah. It looks you know, awkward. Eh, people What's are noticing. Eh, yeah. people are noticing. Where, where? Kuna kitu na apa na apa. Your kahia una kachana juice ana. So I can remember doing it. No, I say. Kabla, all people just think it's your hairstyle. For, for a long time, people used to think it's my hairstyle. People used to think I went linyaga. In that way, it's Jordan. You know, Jordan because it was Jordan who actually popularized it. It's like you know, Jordan mapema. That's your hairstyle, but that's actually balding. So Ben, yeah, you're I really so struggled with it. I really so struggled. Handsome. I really struggled with it. I don't so. think you should ever have hair. But you really reminded me of the calcite. I had forgotten about <laughs> it, man. Like we, calcite. Mosono. <laughs> like used to have calcite. Since you had cycles, name on my point to Mosono. Yeah. And then I did have a beard, so I was like, yo, man, I tried that castor oil thing, it didn't work. No, but um, you have this, the goatee. I wanted like mojis, you know, like you know, like, like all those jokes. All those jokes were really a lot. Anyway. <laughs> What insecurity do I think Wanjiru has? And you just wish she would stop. stop it. Imagine Wanjiru doesn't believe she's beautiful a lot of times. And I know this sounds cliche, but it's a, it, she just doesn't a lot of times. I have moments. And so sometimes I'm just like, I thought you were smart. 
<laughs> totally like you can see yourself <laughs> in the mirror. You know? You're blind? Yeah, she just doesn't see it. Hey, yeah, <laughs> said kuna view mbili kubwa hivyo. Actually we have three. We have like six mirrors in this house. <laughs> hey. So she just doesn't but also uh, um it's also how she believes less of her role especially with her organizations especially like Mawa where she feels like she doesn't do enough you know she's always working on on, on Mawa and all those things but she still feels like she's not done enough I'm just like so what will you say about people like me who just wing a couple of things <laughs> what is me I wing a couple of things when she doesn't wing anything she plans it you know even a hangout yeah So Thanks I think giving. I think she should just stop. It's becoming too much now. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Shakes hands. Shakes hands. <laughs> Amazing. You? Well, Nyamira, you can't escape this. What doubts does Nyash have love like you she could stop it. Insecurity. Sema ya ukweli. No, I think Nyash is an excellent speaker. But I think every time she speaks, like I have to listen. Kitambo siko na because my mind wanders but mm. i have to listen because nyash is a sort of person if she speaks she wants us to come back and actually Re- replay everything she said what when she say? was speaking what did i say at this point <laughs> like sometimes i even have notes like just to affirm her to tell her you actually did well oh, she's very hard yeah. on herself sometimes when she does when she speaks or when she does it. and you know even when she t- if if at her sake is gay they'll be like what yeah she's actually like the because i think she's the best like when she does it we I'm all think like, she's the best yeah like yeah it's like surely you did it very well but when she speaks in front of people which is one thing she's good at she normally has to come back and be like moji did i actually na ile time ni kuanga mimi tunaanza ku date mimi na na ujenga yangu unajua atinyasha anafanya kitu pale mbele ya watu na mimi niko huku story Mm. <laughs> I remember the server there was somewhere and, and I was trying to listen to her speak and somebody was actually making a lot of noise. Mm. I had to actually look back. And you had to take it outside. Do kauta ge kidawe. Unajua kwani hata wewe unahitaji kusikia kile anasema wewe. But I think yeah, I think that's one thing I've had to like really like, yeah. uh, like I constantly just say that something like by the way you actually did well. Mm. You've actually like and I you actually, and you know Nyashi is sort of to ask you, "Oh yeah, I did well. What did you like?" <laughs> and if you say nothing <laughs> like i just think you know the delivery i think everything was just nice i think how yeah, no you have to be like you know when you I said think? this when you said that and yeah. i think this point is nini and i think when i listen now i can also be able to give her accurate feedback mm-hmm. and actually now she can be more secure in like okay yeah okay because that time yeye atakuja kuambia ukimwambia like a point atakuambia yes i actually like that point too mm-hmm. so it's actually very good Am I okay mm-hmm. yeah okay yeah. that's a good one Do I think what do I think Moji is insecure about? What do I think you insecure about? Every day when he comes out of the house and asks you, "I have to take a pop." Niambie tu kuni nyash. "I na kapwa." Nyash. At the time you say no. Moji na mic. And then he tell you, he tell you same thing at say. Someone na niambie, "All right, secretly." Yeah, yeah, una kapwa. Una niambie tu even ni nyamaze. You know like and it's super offensive. Moji is so big on how he looks. Like even today morning So to have this outfit mm. <laughs> he came and stood in front of me and said you got so happy in the jacket i can't lay over you know like, he, he, the, his clothes his outfit means so much to him that the pair of shoes you've worn mm. and your shirt mm. can't be a stray and so mm. it was a shocker for me when we got married because many times me rudisha kwa nyumba ndio vibe vizuri but oh, you. <laughs> yeah hey, hey, God. during the morning parade it is actually morning parade because like if i leave earlier than him and let's say he's in bed i'll fi- i'll have to go near the bed he'll tell me come near hivi kuja hapa nikuone tembe hivyo mm. okay you know you know mm. or change that jacket it's not working yeah. and so i think for me that's for me that's the thing i think he could just stop because i think i think moji is like a style icon mm. yeah. very stylish mm. it's just that oh my god if you ask me one more that's time yes this my mother actually yeah. <laughs> my mother was like utavaje kama masai wale utaenda hivyo kama masai like wow no, kenyan no, roots masai za <laughs> yeah <laughs> kind of top that market too <laughs> yeah and the jkia to make money Answer true or false to the following statements throughout mm. this relationship process I have never doubted my partner true or false I've never doubted, doubted you partner. true mm. <gasps> True I never doubted my partner True Okay About what anything Anything No Come in call man part time I've I've never doubted Throughout this relationship process I've, I've I was never doubted. No 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 Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was I never um. felt insecure at all <laughs> That's false I felt insecure times. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Me too. Mm-hmm. She do. About what? <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> Even I felt insecure. 
For real? Yeah. About other girls? I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you guess? Yeah, yeah. But okay. okay. You? Yeah. Yeah. Throughout oh, this relationship. Why does it matter when I say <laughs> I have a <laughs> Throughout this relationship process, I was never afraid. Ah, no. I was afraid. Oh. Definitely. A lot of things. Being Moji shot Baba's girlfriend. Okay, Moji shot Baba's girlfriend. Wife. No. Wife. Yeah. I've been afraid too. No? Huh? Would I ever be able to eat steak with like a... A fucking knife the right way. I'm going to be clear to Evie. Goodbye. Because you're dining with the queen, eh? <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> queen Lizzie. And Can you? Have you ever been afraid? Af- af- afraid? Yeah, d- definitely. No? Mostly maintaining the lifestyle. Yeah. Like when you Barbie. No, I'm not. School job, uh, She's just unique. Yeah. Insecurity <laughs> can only be cured by an inse- the insecure person. In your mm. experience, is this true? Mm, 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 mm. I st- we said we talked about this where we said both both parties have to yeah, do it. Yeah, both parties yeah. have to do it. It That's has to be. It's a quick oh, that question. one you already preempted. Yeah, yeah very so. very fast. <laughs> like With that question, yeah, oh. we d- tackled it. The answer to this question cannot be I won't pick. Are you all here? Yep. Yeah. Gun to your head. If you are to pick one of the qualities that your partner will have to live with for the rest of their of your relationship, fear, doubt, or insecurity, which would you pick and why? Do I go again? Remove insecurity. To Gun to your head. To be back in a fear and doubt. Mm-hmm. Let me think. I'll pick. Mm-hmm. Fear. Mm-hmm. I, I think fear. fear. Rather she fears me for the rest of uh, this relationship. Hey, what? Yes, you. It's fear. Not you. Not, Not you. Like you live with fear. Oh, you come live on, with fear. Some, some dictator yeah, vibes. Yeah, like yeah. Idi Amin, man. <laughs> say goodbye to all your Rwanda shows, bro. <laughs> um, yeah. Edit that out, please. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh-huh. fear. I've learned to live with Ben's fear and paranoia. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if I would live with doubt and insecurity. Doubt, you know, you have to constantly remind someone that they're great and they're... It's tiresome. It's tiresome. It's tiresome. It's tedious. Yeah, it's a lot. And and then insecurities... Come on. Insecurities are actually very bad, by the way. Yeah. Because you can't fix them. One always... Like and people always job. act out of insecurity. Yeah. So yeah. somebody can do you dirty based on an, an assumption yeah. that they had. Yeah. It can spiral it really can, it very fast. Um, I'd say think? fear. You'd be comfortable to live with fear. He yeah. already lives in fear of paranoia. For, for her, oh, I'm not that very, paranoid, but I'm a very oh, chill person. I, come on, guys. What how many times have we walked in town and Ben has I'm taking this town to your sim. You fear too much. We don't have a lie like that. I know, I do. We don't need the windows. Let's have the AC on. Why? 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 Eventually everybody started wearing masks. We were just ahead I of the curve. I remember Ben came with N95 masks for me and Yash. When China, when the first case... I think we even took China. a picture of laughing at you. You know the oh most hilarious. That's about the most hilarious. I think that whole season. Mm. It was very hilarious being around Ben <laughs> when he was around. No, you also want to go and have some mingi. All of us want to go like, ah, we're going to Nisa Limi. Ben, 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 it made me more secure because yeah. it was quite dramatic, full of so many <laughs> drama. Yeah, like you know, the thing, the thing, you know, Alcala was really an all-time low. Mm. They don't know, what were you looking for, geothermal? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Alcaria. Alcala <laughs> is Waru. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think for me it made me more secure because I'm like, yeah. I think it would be very, it would make me insecure mm. finding out some things. I think. Of, mm. Like you know, in person, you know, in a person that you know, for like a couple of years, and then you find out you know, you know this one time mm. I had a Tanzanian boyfriend, and did you did look at me? She got to like one manyani. Hey, I'm like, hey, why, why did you not? <laughs> tell? You know, like, I think okay, okay, your past, I think it also depends. It could be mm. a, like a small thing. This one time I had a cadet, like, but I think it's a magnitude of 
of the path. Mm-hmm. Eh, like mtaweza kuambia like kitu kikubwa uko like. Eh, Ndio ilikuwa na watu wao wawili wako majuu na baba yao. <laughs> <laughs> Allah. Just story. I've I've story you know, people finding out such things. The kids wako majuu <laughs> and I oh step that by fire by force. Yeah, like, I just say that for this beautiful girl. I've had a story of a chick somebody finding out that a chick had three kids. In Akwa and they are abroad. Yeah, like yeah. 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 I find out very, but anyway, it, uh, things are very different. Like you can watch it, but I find out by die like mm. a very mm. huge thing that they, that they, they, they didn't know. And like, why did you think that was a necessary thing? Mm. Just, to find out. Like yeah, ah man, we should go to that. 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 <laughs> Does this come down to even knowing things about your partner's maybe medical history yes. or like genetic uh, diseases that may be run in the family? Absolutely. In fact, I think one of um, our soon coming trips is mm. like to India mm. just to like a full body check. So yeah. It's very affordable. But I think we need to know. And I'm the paranoid one. I no, I think it's just health is important. No, you, you take it a bit too far with that information because yeah. like the other day we were sharing genetic um, issues in the family after that in Colombia like for us diabetes yeah we're prone to ba- da- yeah and also high blood pressure it's not so in it's not akuna askari kwa kitchen ben niliambiwa wewe sasa utakuwa na half ku workout nataka hiyo blood sugar yako tukwe tuna irregulate <laughs> every time yeah tupataka like kama shirika kuduka ya nini every time nataka tukwe na irregulate you have to be careful about what you eat so i just told you we should at least go for a, a body checkup You know, they so just do a body checkup to yeah. check your blood sugar so that you're intentional about ensuring the blood sugar stays low. Me, I think we have to do it here because if anything is to find, the, I think first it's also cheaper than here, but I, I just thought about it the other day actually. Yeah, yeah. I just mentioned it. Yeah, the doctor of video director of India. I don't know, and I'm shooting music video. And the two parklands. All right, last question, number one. What is your partner's greatest fear in this relationship? Wow, what a, nice, what a nice, good last question. Yeah. What your part, my partner's greatest fear in this relationship is that she's not a good enough. Wow, wife. Mm. Mm. Yeah, drought, the war in Ukraine, there's What matters to a man is very different what matters to. Yeah. I mean, I said mm. I do. That was dumb. Dumb. Oh, what matters? All right. Ben's greatest fear in this relationship is he's unable to provide. Do mm. I never see that happening? Mm. Amen. Um, yeah, and probably diseases. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That would be true for Ben because he, the day you had COVID was the funniest oh you've ever seen. God. I actually felt like Ben felt like I was he was embarrassed. Like, how can it have come so How can COVID, COVID come to this home? Me. All the things I've done. <laughs> for that pressure for she. Right? <laughs> hey, he felt bad for me. Oh I came to God. see her because I was like, it was so annoying. I was actually, I thought your house would have like a part for this one. She was like, this is Ben's side. <laughs> Do you know you refused to even to sleep in the guest room? Are you serious? Cuz I think my things had touched that <laughs> that whatever. So he slept on the couch. <laughs> Isolation. Really no, way, no way I was going to get COVID. <laughs> and hata kukuwa na vaccine at that time surely. Kulikuwa nayo. Kulikuwa nayo. The vaccine came later. No, when I got COVID. The vaccine came later and I remember who oh, was being vaccinated. She got COVID got like a booster. Ben was May. the first people I remember Ben and Walo also got a part of vaccine kitchen ya maji. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got vaccine so <laughs> coffee When the CDO, government was like, getting it. I got coffee CDO. Yeah. I yeah. got my vaccine. Booster so alikuwa kwanza chini ya maji. Na so, 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 so ali. Na bado unatoka kona ma. They are your mask. Yeah, when on the other hand was the conspiracy theories. Not sure how Zungu attack to Maliza. She really refused to take the vaccine Let me tell until you. later about that on, you know. Oh, when you had to go to somewhere with uh vaccine certificate. Yeah. Drama. Um, okay, you greatest fear. Greatest fear that in the Obviously. relationship. What's Nyawira's greatest fear in your relationship? Hey, what's her greatest fear in your relationship? I think really Nyawira has a picture or an image of what we should uh, be able to be a daily life. I think it's not it's not about the greatest fear like a daily fear. So, That's not the question. The question is Yeah, you're being smart. Still how he's looking at Nyawera to confirm. Yeah, because he's being smart. And he knows what he's doing. What's Nyawera's biggest fear in this relationship? 
And Yawira has an answer, and you better get it right. No, 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 dear, please, please, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you hang up. No, you hang up. Gotta go. What? Her, her greatest daily fear in the relationship, mm. in, on her side or for both of us? Yours, mine. Oh, mm. Yawira. <laughs> what is Yawira's fear in this relationship? What is Yawira's fear in this relationship? Mm. I, I think it's when we don't communicate well. I think that's one thing. If we're not communicating. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we are not finishing strong. <laughs> we just are so that I love it. <laughs> we are not communicating well. Yeah. This guy. This guy. What's uh, up? What do you that's think? his answer and that's why. And that's what he's dying with. Okay, well, lack, I of, think lack of communication is Nyeria's biggest fear. Party. Oh, no, I mean, it's, it may end on a kujua. I'm going with what he's saying and I think, you know. And for you? I think Moji's biggest fear in our relationship would be falling out of friendship in our relationship would be mm. his biggest fear. Like, guy, we're not friends. Mm. We're not talking. We're not here. That would be his biggest fear. It all ties down to communication. It, well, so Moji was... <laughs> Moji was his, right. His fear is communication. I don't think that's my... But I mean, What's what your is, fear? In From where you sit? Being unstable mm. is one of my biggest fears in our relationship. But communication, I'd actually t- t- uh, believe Moji on that because, you know, Moji dated somebody and that person would, like, text him, like, once a week and she was okay, like, and she didn't have it. Like, they were not even fighting. Like, you know, it's just, like, that's how she talks. So, like, <laughs> okay, hey, Baba. <laughs> you know, and the whole week, Moji's just like, Mbora, Mbora, I had a text and young And she but, was normal. But for that, she is being unstable. Yeah. yeah. All right. But I think that's tied to communication, honestly. Yeah. Comes. Yeah. But we like you yeah. 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 had an answer, but Discuss. you want to bring it up. <laughs> yeah. We all bring it back to communication. Wow, thank you so much guys for coming through. Thank we you for always, having us. Always, always a pleasure mm. to have you guys. Uh hope you hope hope you guys are looking forward towards the live experience. It's gonna be mad. Oh yeah, we are very mad nervous. Things. In fact, we're gonna go and start rehearsing. So you, you ask the question, how many nervous? outfits do you have? Because you're also MC. <laughs> She's also MC. Yeah. 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 Like you're already used to the joy. Oh, 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 like no, no, no now that I think about of, it. Of, in front of like seven hundred uh, 2,000 people yeah. who are well dressed they smell nice they're just nice <laughs> they're waiting for you to entertain them they are here them. for you now <laughs> tafadhali, tafadhali, they could have done <laughs> a lot with that money <laughs> Like, yay! Guys. They have left their awkward day, like, okay, at least we're getting brief. So I feed off the energy from the crowd. Gotcha. <laughs> it was so funny. Hadi, Nafika, in front of the stage before Ben. I'm looking for Ben somewhere. Who can make a high five? Watch who call. I like your That's how you can do it. Is it possible, actually? Stop it, Ben. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're really looking forward to, to, to add the live experience, 3rd of December. So guys, better grab your tickets uh, before they run out. Yep. Any final, any last words on, on this episode, Nyamira? It's been a fun Adios. two hours. See you guys in the next one. Adios. Bye-bye. No last words. Don't fear. <laughs>